Hello, today doing a quick unwrapping and a review on this thing. This is a Deco 01 it's a tablet. Got it from Amazon. It's the X Pen sort of thing. And our code. So this is a UK label because we're not part of the EU anymore. I guess. Don't really know. It's the deck 01. And nothing more to see than there was before. Quick specifications in there. So you can read if you want to. If I can get it to focus. Nothing seems to focus, but that could be my glasses. Oh, that's better. Off. So we have the slide off case on it. And what have we got in this thing in here? Oh, opens up nicely. Hey, we got a Chinese rabbit. Need to pull that out of there. Right, so that's the actual tablet. And what have we got here? We've got stylus. Play the bits and instructions. USB lead, which is USB C, 90 degree thingy on it. And we've got the that pen holder for when you're working with it, I guess. Very nice. We'll have a look at the other bits and we'll go from there. Okay, so having got the graphics tablet plugged in, as in USB lead, and that's it. It's as simple as that. Do the, it's going to find the, um, it's going to then do the install for you. So here we go. This is the latest version of the software. So click on install again. Here we go. All right. Pretty little pitch, pretty little patterns. And we'll see where we go. I haven't seen this software before. Right, this is the software. And what you're effectively doing is you're setting up, right, right click. It comes with the way it's set up. And yeah, this is very different. So there's your active area and then you got working area and pen button settings and that's my working area and express key settings. K1 is open tablet settings, K2 is alternate, K3 is space, K4 is control Z, K5 is control plus plus k6 is control plus minus k7 is, so this is all to the um, I don't know what you're doing anyway so that's that and then when you got it up and running you can do this with it so let's open up a program like for instance uh, page up pro Here we go, Page of Pro is opening and now using the the stylus instead of the mouse. What I can do now within Windows, I've just used the mouse to do that, but now I'm going to use the stylus and that's the stylus. Now the beauty of the stylus is that you could do things that you wouldn't otherwise normally be able to do. So, let's find a paintbrush. Whoa. Get a colour. Pick a colour somewhere. Right. That's the colour we want. And then, say OK. You can use it just like a mouse. Now, I will be producing, I will be producing coloured lines 
in a way that you can't do with a mouse because way look at that look you can't be that smooth with a mouse obviously it depends on your computer as to exactly how useful this is but um, it works one of the things I have found useful for this is for filling out forms on PDFs and things because it actually conforms with Windows Paint. Anyway, so that's, that's working it on that program. Let's, now I'm going to use the, just the, the stylus as a mouse here. So I'm going to shut the program down. Okay, so do I, wanna, I still want to save it. So, um, click save, no, close all. That's just going to close. Right, so we're back to here. Now, this is nice and simple. This is the and I'm actually using the stylus now. So I can actually go into, we'll go into paint, shall we? Let's open up paint. Uh, P A I N T. Paint app. Boom. All right, now, using the stylus, I can, you can see it up there now. Right, there's my thing, uh, color one, and I can write. Very keep it simple. Right, there we go. Now you could not do that with a mouse, but you can do that with all of the other programs. Now, what it allows you to do is um, there are button. There's two buttons on this thing. There is the front button. And there's the back button. Now you can select them to do different jobs. Now it's supposed to be an eraser, but not on this program. But if we go into go onto the function of an eraser, right, so you just exactly like a mouse, you just hover over what you want. Colour picker, zoom in brushes, eraser, okay, rubber. Now I can just touch it on there, and it erases it. Nice and simple. Now, if I want to not use the point, I can use the bottom button on here and it gives me like a spray can effect. So that's me spray canning the rubber to erase what's on there, or partially erase what's on there. Now if I touch the points on, as I do here, it totally raises it. So let's go back to a colour, a oh, oh, red pen. Right, red pen. Boom. So now I can let me name again. But if I do the top button, still nothing. If I go back onto the eraser, I can ray erase by pressing the bottom button. It's very much a case you've got to play with it. You've got to play with it and see what you can do with it. But is it better than using a mouse? Well, absolutely. For a start, it's bigger. And it's much, much better in terms of smoothness. Now, the reason you need gloves is simple. You're sliding your hand over to... See, I'm currently sliding my hand, but it's got to be within contact of them. Else. Not actually touching, because as soon as you touch, you, you start to put the uh, brush on, or whatever it is that you're using. So, as soon as you touch, it does. But, it does give you the flexibility, and there is a certain amount of tactileness, again, depending on how the program is set. So, is it worth doing? Oh well, yes. And when you just see what some of the buttons do. On this program, buttons don't do anything because they're not set to. Oh, here we go. We've got erase there. 
So you've got quick buttons that you can push, but you program them to the software that you're using. Lines. And, uh, so yes, you're scribbling on the tablet itself. It's just like screen writing on the screen, except you're going to reach for it, which is good. So you could do your own, I know, I'm not artistic in that respect, but uh, because you're not actually using paper, you could actually make it up as you go along. How about a bit of that? And a bit of that. And a bit of that. And a bit of that. And that could be a fish. That could be a fish. It could not be a fish. I don't know what it is. But uh, to me, it looks a bit like a fish. No. So anyway, that's that's sort of like the the re reach of my artisticness as far as that's concerned. However, go back onto a different program and save. If we go back onto a different program, oh look, it's got it all in there. And then we can use it for other things. Like I say, what paint shop, not Photoshop. So uh, yeah, you just tell it what you want to do and you, you enter it. It's nice and simple. I've been using mine for a while now and would I go back to using the mouse? Occasionally I do because it's a simple little touch but if it's anything more complicated then no, I use the graphics tablet and for filling out forms and things it's wonderful. Is it worth the money? Actually I'd say it is but only if you've got more than the other thing to do. One of the side effects actually is I've got better at using the mouse having used the graphics tablet because you can see what it's doing. I hope this video has been of use to you. If it has, if you'd like to subscribe or share or click a like or all three, that'd be great. If not, then you know, we'll see you another time anyway. Thanks a lot. Let's keep life simple. Cheers.